process came about, it's one of those like emotional things, you know, you, you know, you kind of talk to yourself during the day and you got these thoughts going through your head. And one day, once I came up with the idea that I wanted to pursue, you know, this, this film thing, I, I, I was thinking about my grandmother and that got me to thinking about my uncle who had passed away. He died, he was shot, drug user, and got shot, you know, you know outside of a crack house. And it just came to me. That's it. That's it. I mean, it, it was just the right name. I could have been any other name. I actually had another name. That name, I never used that name again. It was Tag Entertainment. Never said that word again. Now, with was Skip, and Skip Thomas was the name. With so many of our young people and the urban experience having some of those negative factors and other people having that, how much of your life experience then mixed with your imagination, observations, and research to then advance into this film Secrets? Um, you know, my life has been a book in itself. I mean, I've done a lot of things, some good, some bad, some I'm not proud of, some I'm ecstatic about. But nonetheless, you know, those are parts of my life. Mm -hmm. And I, I have a story that has to be told, and Secret is a part of that story. Is it, is uh, my life, is, is the movie Secrets my life? No. But I can tell that movie because I know that that movie. I know that I've been there. I can tell you exactly how it goes. So I'm able to tell it from a perspective that maybe somebody else couldn't tell it because they wouldn't understand. Now the wealth in Cleveland now includes that as one of the intellectual properties that adds to the riches of what we're trying to do to attract people to Cleveland, to keep people in Cleveland. Now let's take that intellectual property and advance it to the next stage. What do you do after you now have the script or the idea for the story, and you now need actors. Uh, I, you know, before I do any of that, you sit down and you tell yourself, I'm going to start this and finish it. That's the problem we have with young talent. They start it, but they don't finish it. As soon as the road gets rough, they, they jump ship. So I, I sat down and told myself, I'm going to see this through. Hell or high water, I'm going to see this through. So after that, I contacted Tina Hobbs at Cleveland Style Casting because I knew she was like me. She reminded me of me. When I talked to her, I I felt that fervor in her voice, just that she wanted to make a difference for herself, for her community, for her city. So we got together and I said, well, you know what, let's find some of the local talent in Cleveland and some parts out. We got actors from Pittsburgh, from Canton, but mainly from Cleveland, and let's give them an opportunity to go from almost famous to famous. Mm -hmm. and then